Welcome back to another video. On the previous video, I was not happy about how it ended, per se. I know I said in the beginning my energy was off and jittery, and I still am. The ending point should have been shadow work that I still need to acquire. But to also say that I'm an old soul, I can relate to people who have been bullied, harassed for being different, for their light, their hidden potential, their hidden gifts. Unless they are aware of those abilities, then good. For me, I was not aware of my light and my gifts until later in life, then everything started to make sense. Being a loner comes with a price, well for me at least, and being alone teaches us how to find our own voice through the clutter of our own mind. I have been alone since pretty much my whole life. Never really belong, never fit in, being the odd duck out. And also an ugly duckling story as well. What has being alone taught me? Never deal with energy vampires, never deal with toxic people, do not approach them, do not engage with these people, and keep your energy clean. Being alone has also taught me to stand on my own two feet and to ultimately speak my truth no matter what happens, per se. For me, I have always met people, but they never stay in my life or they were fake to begin with. So being alone has taught me to do not deal with fakes. You are going to regret, regret it. So, like I said, those are two sides to this. One side you're not dealing with toxic assholes who will completely drain your energy and destroy you. Second point, side two is at the same time you long to be with like-minded people who do understand what you are conveying and to ultimately be there for you rather than to use you. And that's basically what I should have said in the end, however, my energy was jittery and I could not 
find the words until at a later time. However, with this being said, the whole video uh, till this point, there is shadow work that still needs to happen. But I do not have that answer right now. Have I come to terms with being alone, being invisible to a degree, rather? Um, what I mean is, I only have a handful of people who actually appreciate the work that I do. However, that is less than 10, and I have watched other YouTuber, tuber, other people that I follow who have over hundreds of people following them with hundreds of comments. So yeah, I'm jealous, envious, uh, it's normal to want that growth, to want that fan base. However, you have to work for it, and I've been struggling since I have started to do my work, knowing that there was only a handful of people rather than what I would like it to be at. But then again, I do not use advertisements, therefore I do all the work myself, word of mouth, uh, links on Instagram, um, to acquire more people to know about my YouTube channel. With that being said, you either get super lucky and acquire the traffic or you don't and you wonder what am I doing wrong. Uh, so that also comes with being a loner. You don't really have people to help you get to the next level. Either they don't know how to help you or they don't have anyone they know who would be interested in the work you do. Technically that falls into the first category. Um, with luck, it, I was hearing how this one YouTuber got big real quick. He said all he did was Minecraft mod videos. Um, uh, like top five or... Yeah, he was doing like a top ten list and people ate it up and found him and the subscribers grew from there and now he's glowing, having a blast, founded uh, two people to be crazy with on video and he has three YouTuber channels at this time and all over 100k. Err. I, I don't... Mm, what? It's probably over... I don't even know. I'm gonna say over 100k, but I could be wrong. But again, it's over 1k, so... It's, it's up though. But he got very lucky with his videos going viral somehow. So 
so maybe uh, YouTube hates me at this time. I mean, and I got here too late, and all the algorithm sucks, and everyone is jumping ship, leaving YouTube because of the crap that has been going on. Yes, I have tried using hashtags and all that, but apparently it's not working. And what was is now, like, not working anymore. Like, the keywords are not working anymore. Uh, but again, I don't know anyone who has this knowledge to help me, so therefore I have been trying methods, looking up methods and everything, and apparently nothing is working. Um... Maybe I should do a top 10, I guess. Uh, not really my style. Can't really do that with a spirit blog post. Uh, top 10. Um, yeah, you can't. Well, I don't. Uh, for me doing a top 10, anything is very hard. Uh, once again, you just win it. Uh, I have, I don't know. For me, like I said, it's not my style. And also, I just don't have 10 things on, like, a example. Like, top 10 things to do or something. And I'm like, well, do I even begin as a spirit blogger to do that? Like... How to clean your aura top 10 ways or something. Can't really do it because it's all about you and not so much the method because what one works for someone will not work for you and I have accidentally experienced that. Um, maybe my titles just suck. Then again, you have to use keywords. Uh, someone suggested um, automated YouTube category. Like, uh, if you search a keyword and find a automated, automated, created by YouTube or whatever, put that first, followed by your keywords. Tried that, didn't work because there was no automated YouTube channel for Spirit. Except I did find two bands under that, but that's again a band, not a Spirit blog category. So, yeah. That's a small world being a Spirit blogger. People are, are out there, they follow this stuff, but for me, I just cannot find those people. But that's again because I don't buy advertisement. So people can't really find me because I don't pay for advertisement. It's all about word of mouth, which I prefer over cheap means. Oh, I'm gonna pay for subscribers to. Yeah, I'm not into that whole. Thing. Again, sounds very 3D, not my style. Oh, I'm gonna pay you to subscribe to me. No. I'm, I'm sure people have done that. No. Not, not my, my thing. Maybe this is a sign that I'm too... My... my Wisdom, the knowledge I provide is too deep, too out there, too out of the box, too... Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of things to say on that. Oh, I have been told you're too powerful, 
people are afraid. And what they do not understand, they will either fight it or run. And I've been told that before. And I have actually experienced that. Um, not sure how to grow the channel other than throw the growth out and just focus on the people who do listen. It's been a real struggle, uh, war on the inside, because uh, I want the to get out though, but at the same time, it's like if it's not happening, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to be famous like that. Um, it's like I'm not that lucky. Um, just focus on. The people who do listen to you just stop caring about getting big. Very hard to do because everyone wants that. I've seen it many times. Oh, you, you just start out, you think you're going to hit big, but you never do. And it just sucks the life out of you. Um... That this is my uh, point of view. I, I don't know if there's a person out there who never wants to get big, but rather stay small. I don't know if there is a person out there. Uh, maybe there is. I have never encountered this. Uh, but for me, it's like, I want to find more people who isn't like-minded, who can relate, who can understand, creates that community, creates that tribe, rather than be invisible. Um, okay, yeah, like, yeah, it, it's a struggle to just say, oh, throw out the community, just focus on the People who do listen to you, which is under 10. Yeah, that's, that's hard for me to acknowledge and to accept. Just focus on these small numbers rather than try to see that growth and to acquire that growth, to hit a hundred subs or a hundred comments focus on who is which is like I'm going to say only two people comment when they feel the, the need to and the rest just don't uh, it's hard to accept that is my fate so to speak. But then again, I don't comment. <laughs> and if I do comment, I just give the prayer hands or a heart. Other than that, I, I don't comment. Uh, but that's um, because I don't really know what to say. But again, these people have over a hundred followers, like over a thousand, with a hundred comments plus. Uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's basically my fault that I don't have more people. Uh, I, I mean, if you don't know what to say, you just don't know what to say. And if you do, they might not see it because they have over a hundred commenters. <laughs> um, I guess that's why I don't comment. Knowing that these people have over 
300 followers. Um, I, I don't know. I have always been the type of person to, if you want to say something to me, you will, and if you don't, you don't. But again, I, it's my fault, obviously, probably. But then again, that's from being bullied in school. So naturally, you are going to be like, okay, what do I say to this person? Will they say something stupid? Or will they just ignore my comment? Or will they see it but don't respond? I've had the, th the third one a lot. I comment back they never respond, and I'm like, why? Yes, I've, I've done it myself before, uh, when someone uh, messaged me, but I never wrote back. But that was because they were a 3D person. Closed-minded sheep. So, of course, I will not respond to that a toxic, dry aura. But, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's my fault. And just... Stop, stop wanting to grow and just focus on the people who do listen. That's uh, really hard to accept. I've been struggling with this since I've started the my mission on YouTube. Uh, to branch out, I should say. And that's been since November 2018. And I've been struggling ever since to just accept that focus on who does and forget about growing. And we'll see. Meh. Uh, that's all I can... Oh, I've got, uh, until we meet again.